Mike's Reading Rainbow. All righty, Mike's Reading Rainbow makes its return. Today we'll be discussing The Gap and The Gain by Dan Sullivan. This was a really quick, easy book, and it was really needed at the time when I read it. And uh, what the focus is mainly is that people focus a lot on the gap, and they don't really focus or even understand the gain. What that means is that we're constantly moving, you know, the goalposts in life. And what happens is we compare our lives to other people, or we just look at that goalpost that always is getting pushed back further and further. And we think, man, we're just, we're not, we're not doing what we'd like to do, or we're not achieving our goals, or it can just get really frustrating. And it's a terrible mindset to have, although we all do it. Um, instead, we should focus on the gain. And I do this a lot in like my fitness journey or whatever. It's just like, I beat myself up because I don't hit my goals sometimes. Um, but if I were to look back at where I come, where I came from, it certainly would change my perspective. And that's living in the gain. Uh, living in the gap is, you know, wanting to be something that, you, you know, you're not there yet and yearning for it. And then again, it's constantly changing. Your goals will constantly keep pushing forward and it gets frustrating. But if you learn to just appreciate the gain, um, it gives you just a better mindset. You get mental clarity and you perform better. So ultimately you'll get to where you're looking to go that much quicker, but with a healthier attitude. So I really appreciated the book in itself. I thought it was a great read. It was funny. Um, definitely recommend The Gap and The Gain. It's in a book. Mike's Reading Rainbow. Mike's Reading Rainbow. Mike's Reading Rainbow.